Hello and welcome to another episode of The London Perspective. I'm your host, Stefan. Today we're talking about the appointment of a new manager for the Premier League club, Everton Football Club. Sean Dyke has been named the new manager of the Toffees, and in this episode, we're going to take a closer look at his plans for the club and what this could mean for the future of Everton Football Club. So, let's dive into the article. According to The Guardian, Sean Dyke has said that he wants to ignite the fire that still burns at Everton by creating a team that embodies the values of Howard Kendall's great sides of the 80s. Despite the recent protests against the board and the team's run of only one win in 12 Premier League games, Dyke believes there's still a spirit at Everton that can be crucial in the fight to avoid relegation. In his own words, Dyke wants to build a team that embraces the past and understands it, while building the future. He wants to tap into the values that underpinned the club's last period of sustained success, which he remembers clearly from his own childhood. The values that made that time period at the club so successful were the fight, teamwork, and unsung heroes that became heroes. He wants to bring that spirit back to the club while also building the future. Dyke's first game as manager of Everton Football Club will be against the current league leaders, Arsenal. He's relishing the opportunity to make his Goodison debut and says he's proud to be at the club. He's got a chance to turn the club's fortunes around and play a part in reshaping things. Steeden. So, what do you think about Sean Dyke's appointment as the new manager of Everton Football Club? Is this a positive move for the Toffees or do you think they need to look elsewhere for a new manager? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for this episode of The London Perspective. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be back soon with another episode. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, Share and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news and analysis from the world of football.